Hello and welcome to the eOrganic webinar on greenhouse gases and agriculture. Where does organic farming fit? By David Granitzin, Dave Huggins, and Lynn Carpenter Boggs. My name is Alice Formiga and I'm the webinar coordinator for eOrganic. eOrganic is the Organic Agriculture Community of Practice with eExtension. We're a community of cooperative extension service personnel, researchers, ag professionals, organic certifiers, and practitioners. You can find all of our recorded webinars information about upcoming webinars, as well as articles and videos on organic farming at extension.org slash organic underscore production. This is the second webinar in this winter's climate change webinar series. In this webinar, the presenters will discuss how agriculture can be both a source and a sink for greenhouse gases. They'll talk about how management practices affect greenhouse gases and how organic farming systems in particular may influence them. I'd like to briefly introduce our speakers. Lynn Carpenter Boggs is the Bioag Research Leader for the Center for Sustaining Agriculture and Natural Resources at Washington State University. She conducts, organizes, and encourages research, teaching, and extension activities in biologically intensive and organic agriculture. David Granitstein also works as a, in the um, Center for Sustaining Agriculture and Natural Resources at Washington State University in Wenatchee, Washington, where he develops research and extension programs on organic systems, climate-friendly farming, and orchard floor management. Dave Huggins is a soil scientist with the USDA Agricultural Research Service in Pullman, Washington. His current research is assess assessing the interactive effects of terrain, soil properties, carbon and nitrogen cycling, crop diversity, and tillage on agroecosystems performance. After their 45-minute presentation, you will have the chance to ask them questions. If you have a question, you can simply type it into the question box on your screen and hit return. If you can't see the question box, click the small plus sign next to the word question on your control panel to open it up. We'll answer as many questions as we have time for during the 30-minute question period following the presentation. Now that we've introduced the speakers, we're going to launch two very quick 30-second polls. In the first one, we'd like to find out a little bit about who is in our audience today. And in the second one, we'll ask you a question about greenhouse gases that we'll ask again at the end of the webinar. So I'm just going to launch those, and um, if you could just very quickly Fill them out, we can move on to the presentation. They'll be up for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, we'll launch the next one. Okay, so this is a question about greenhouse gases. Do compost and green manures emit greenhouse gases? Please select one. We'll have that up for about 30 seconds, and then we will move on to our first speaker, David Granstein. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move things on to you, Dave. 